Hi everyone, welcome back to Wondershare Recoverit, which is a data recovery tool that is designed to retrieve deleted files from different types of storage devices. And once again, we are here to address a common technical issue that you and many other Windows users might be encountering on their systems. I am of course talking about the small pop-up saying audio service is not running that many Windows 10 users see in the bottom right corner of their screens. Now, if you're also seeing the same error, it simply means that the audio devices on your system are not working. Now, as irritating as this may look, the good news is that it is possible to troubleshoot this audio service is not running error. So in today's episode, we'll discuss the different methods to fix said error and to restore the audio playback on your computer. So make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It and let's get started with the episode right away. First things first, why is your computer flashing the audio service not running error? Well, the error is triggered by the Windows Audio Troubleshooter to alert the user that the sound devices are not working correctly. Now, believe it or not, this is one of the most common errors among Windows users, and it usually gets triggered after the users upgrade their Windows to the latest version. Now, as you may already know, Upgrading Windows in of itself is pretty annoying, and in most cases the process actually causes the system to run into more severe issues. So if you've recently installed some Windows updates, they might be the reason behind your system showing the audio service not running error. In addition to this, other factors are missing audio drivers and malware attacks that can also cause issues with the Windows audio service. So now that we know what triggers the audio service not responding error, let's start with the working solutions that will help you fix the problem. And don't worry, all of these methods are pretty basic and anyone can implement them without much hassle. Now, before we start implementing any advanced solutions, let's start with the simplest of them all. Simply restart the Windows audio service and see if it does any good or not. For viewers who don't know, the Windows Audio Service is a dedicated built-in program that's responsible for running and managing audio on your Windows system. To restart the Windows Audio Service, open the Run window and type services.msc. Hit Enter and you'll be prompted with the Windows Service screen. Here you will see a list of all active Windows services on your system. Locate the Windows Audio option and then right-click on it, and then click on Restart. Once again, click on the Windows Audio and tap Properties. Then using the drop-down menu, change the startup type to Automatic. The Windows Audio service will then automatically restart at this point, and hopefully you shouldn't see the error anymore. Now, if restarting the audio services doesn't resolve the problem, the next step would be to configure the sound settings on your system and reconnect all the audio devices. To do this, simply unplug all of your audio components and then reconnect them one by one. After reconnecting all of these devices, open the services window again and follow these steps to activate all of the crucial services. Locate these three services. RPC Endpoint Mapper, Remote Procedure Call or RPC, DCOM Server Process Launcher. Then right click on each of these services and click the start button to activate them. Once again, change the startup type for each of these services to automatic from the properties window. After this process completes, restart your system and then check if the audio service not responding error is fixed or not. Another way to resolve the audio service not working is to disable your audio enhancements on your computer. This is a feature that many Windows users use to boost the audio quality of their sound systems. But in some cases, enabling audio enhancements can actually trigger various sound-related errors. So if you have turned on audio enhancements by any chance, go ahead and disable them to hopefully fix the problem. Open the Cortana search box and type sound. Then double-click on the first search result to open the audio control panel. Now right-click on the preliminary audio device and tap Properties. Finally, go to the Enhancements tab and check the Disable Audio Enhancement checkbox. Click OK to save the changes. This will now disable all audio enhancements and should fix the audio service not responding error. 
If audio devices are still not working on your system, the next step would be to update the HD audio codec and all other audio drivers as outdated device drivers are a common reason behind different audio related errors. So let me walk you through a detailed procedure of updating device drivers. Press on the Windows and X key and then click Device Manager. Expand the Sound, Video and Gaming Controllers category and then right click on IDT High Definition Audio Codec. Now right click on Update Drivers and then follow the on-screen instructions to update those selected drivers to the latest version. Now, if the audio services still doesn't respond, the next step would be to manually add the network and audio services via command prompt. First of all, run the command prompt as administrator. Then type net local group administrators forward slash add network service and press enter. And then again type net local group administrators slash add local service and hit enter. Now wait for both of these commands to execute successfully and after the process completes, check if the audio services resumes or not. Finally, if nothing's working in your favor, the last resort would be to run the Windows Audio Troubleshooter. This is a built-in Windows utility that is specifically designed to resolve various audio-related errors within Windows. To run the Audio Troubleshooter, open the Settings window and then click Update and Security. Select Troubleshoot and tap on Additional Troubleshooters. Then expand the Playing Audio option and click on Run the Troubleshooter. Again, follow the on-screen instructions to troubleshoot the audio-related errors on your computer. So that is how you can troubleshoot the audio service not responding error in Windows 10. Now, while we're on the subject, we would like to share with you a few additional tips that could help you avoid hitting this audio service error in the future. Always keep your audio drivers up to date because outdated audio drivers is one of the most common reasons behind this issue. If it's not necessary, then avoid enabling audio enhancements as they can cause your audio devices to stop responding. If you have connected multiple audio devices to your system, then make sure you're using the right one at that particular moment. Since Windows updates are a common reason behind the audio service not responding error, then it would be better to temporarily disable Windows updates on your system. And with all of these precautions, we now conclude today's episode on how to fix the audio services not responding error in Windows 10 and 11. It doesn't matter what's triggered said error, these tricks should help you resolve the problem without any hassle. Still, if you do face any issues, let us know in the comments section and we will get back to you with a feasible solution as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for tuning into today's episode, and if you want to see more tech tutorials like this in the future, don't forget to leave a like down below and make sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It.